so today I work with Jack. Um, I got a call from a rescue that I work with today. They said they need me to come up and work with the dog. Um, they wanted me to get an evaluation of what's going on with this dog. So what happened was that every time somebody would come over, Jack would get to the point of a frantic, uh, insecure state, and he was showing signs of aggression. <laughs> So when we got in, we didn't know how bad it was. Uh, he would get excited, get frantic, and then just rush. He would attack. Full on, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna bite you, I'm gonna attack you. So first thing I did is I set foundation through the leash. Um, I got the dog to submit. I was able to put it on leash. I was able to walk the dog, uh, make it more comfortable around me. And then I began to bring the owners out, have them work the leash. We were able to do introductions with the dog, um, having people come in and out of the home with the dog not getting excited and actually letting people in the home. But what happens is, is that when a dog and an owner have history and a past, dogs don't live in the past, they live in the now. But if an owner gets stuck in the place of this could potentially happen, they have anxiety in the back of their mind and what happens is you can actually create a problem. So we were able to, with me controlling the dog, I was able to walk the dog, get the dog back in the house, invite my cameraman in, no problems. I was even able to drop the leash, have my cameraman walk in, no problems. When I gave the leash back to the owners, no. the second they grabbed the leash, the dog went frantic again. No. So no. I had the owner work with the dog, correct the dog. The dog was able to get a little bit calmer, but just not to the point where it was able to make the breakthrough like it, uh, like it needed. So I asked the mom to step in. She worked with the dog and was able to do the same thing, drop the leash. Now what's happening is that the owners, they, they just had years and years of this. So subconsciously, even if they wanted to let go of the situation, it was imprinted on them that there could be a potential outbreak or a bite from, from Jack. So that's what we are working with. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna contact one of our rescues and see if we can do a swap or see if we can do a rehoming with an owner that has a fresh start, doesn't have any memory, has no past. It just needs to have a fresh start. So we're gonna find him a home, we're gonna get him placed, and we're gonna rehab him, and he's gonna be a great family dog. 